Brady's going to be here in five minutes, and I told him I'd be ready, and I'm not ready. What do you think, Woody? Woody just wants food. All right, I'm going to feed Woody, and then I'm going to get ready. And then we're going to go to the Mississippi, and I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked. I've only been there once. I hear there's fish there. Is there fish here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lied. What I meant to say was I'd be almost ready when you got here. Well, better be. You only brought one rod? No. Uh, I was going to say I brought like seven. What's in there? Striker shirts. Sweet. So we're going to be like looking sharp? Yeah. What do you got there, bud? I think a garlic cheese bread from Godfather's. It's a pretty solid choice. Gas station stuff's good. You know, when it comes to fishing, you need a well-rounded diet for success. Not that I know anything about success or well-rounded diet, but that's what I hear. Anyway, I'm getting pretty stoked. We are ETA, 40 minutes. Or is that 40 minutes the bow shop? 40 minutes bow shop, so roughly an hour. Yeah, that's tolerable. Anyway, I'm ready to catch some fish. What what just happened? Well, stopped at the archery shop and talked a little longer than I thought we were going to talk, but Weird. picked up pay up. <laughs> picked up the new bow. And what kind of bow is it? It is a Matthews Vertex. Okay. How do you feel about bow hunting? I kind of like it. No, no, like honestly, how do you feel about bow hunting? I like bow hunting as much as I like catching walleyes. Well, that, that doesn't mean anything to anybody. How much do you like bow hunting? If some random Joe Schmo came up and was like, hey man, how much do you like bow hunting? I'd ask him how much he liked breathing. Okay, that's where we're at. Yeah. I don't like bow hunting a bit, but I, this bow is so sweet, even I can appreciate it. So that's where we're at. We made that pit stop and we thought we had like 20 minutes to go. Nah, we have an hour, which really means like an hour and 10 minutes until um, we get to go fishing. So you'll probably hopefully see some Twilight Walleye pictures, video, whatever. And that's where we're at. Are we going to camp out tonight? Yeah. So we're going to camp out tonight. Jason will probably have a limit by the time we get there. kind of wondering why he hasn't been texting. Maybe he's hammering. We don't have time to grab his phone. That's what I like to think. And he'll have him dialed in okay. just waiting for us. Yes. It's genuinely too bad that things don't look as cool in video as they do in person. Because that looks pretty cool. And all the tall rock bluffs and stuff. The fact that we're still in Iowa. This is not the Iowa people think of when they think of Iowa. Hell, this isn't the Iowa I think of when I think of Iowa. This is this is pretty freaking cool. Let's you said it. Let's look at some water. Appears we've arrived at the upper sippy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's look, let's look at some water. I'm yeah. sick of being in this truck. How's our oh, you managed to knock the aerator off again. Nice. Precious cargo. Okay. Yeah, there. <laughs> One might have a concussion, but he'll bounce back. Yes. This is a, oh, they even have boat docks on their amps up here, huh? Yeah, they're not as primitive as you may have thought. I didn't know what to expect. Is this a slough? Uh, yeah. Ish. Ish. Little gravel, little reduced current. A whole lot of sheeps. Yeah, I can see how you get gills here. I like the clarity. Yeah, that's pretty good compared to what you were setting me up for. Yeah, I'm excited. Me also. Alright. Alright, I guess the only thing left to do is go fishing. Here, Jason, here's your cameo right now. <laughs> this is your time to shine. I promise I'll make you look cooler than you really are because that's what I do to me. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. You did it to me too. <laughs> this is my personal guide right here, Jason. How's it going? Yep, and he's going to show me what catching walleyes looks like or something. I don't know. Hopefully something. Right. I promised you, and I've said this before, that I am one of the worst walleye fishermen you ever meet in your life. And the only reason I catch walleyes is because I fish for them in the fall, like, a lot. So I'm here to learn something from the masters. 
because I'm just a fledgling walleye fisherman. And they want to learn about flatheads too, I heard, which I don't know. Heck yeah, flatheads. We'll see how that goes on this big water. I'm kind of, my plan is to approach. Not big enough for them. Well, I just grab them by the mouth or, or lose them right at the kayak. I'm pretty good at that. How's the lighting off my face good? Well, it reflects really well off the top of your head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. We're fishing. We might not be catching yet, but we are fishing. All right, so what they do is they suck it in like a walleye. And when they suck it in like a walleye, it makes the zzzz. And then they just keep rolling. Now we're sitting there munching on it. That's what I'm wondering. Which will let them munch on it for a minute and maybe it'll keep rolling or I don't know. It could be grass to water boat. It could be. It could be a lot of things. Oh, no, that's a log. Oh, there it is. I was all excited for a second. That's what the runs left sound like. <laughs> They just slow and steady and keep going. Oh, it wasn't even the log I thought it was. I don't know if you can see, but we didn't catch anything. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. We're going to try for, I don't know, what are we fishing for now? Walleye, crappie, uh, bass, whatever, perch. perch. Okay, we're going to fish for whatever, because the flyheads didn't want to <laughs> Didn't want to bite, so. All right, let's go. If that's a crappie, it's a state record. <laughs> oh, no. Yes! Oh, that is what I'm talking about. You want me to get the net for you? <laughs> he tanked it, too. It's like clear in the back of his throat. That's not a Des Moines River drum. He was so fat, it's amazing he could stuff anything else in his belly. There you go, you want to eat him? No. I would. Not to do. So, yeah, I got one in the fridge. I kept one the other day. Hey! If the net man could do his job. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Not a bad looking little fish for the morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, so that's what a walleye looks like. I feel like it's like mushroom hunting. You know, you got to see your first one before you're, you're tuned into <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. it. <laughs> Make sure they're even here. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I have my walleye eyes on now. He was angry. Cool. Did he tag it? He did. My walleye doesn't quite measure up to Jason's, <laughs> but boy, when I hit, when he hit it, you couldn't feel a thing. <laughs> One seven-inch walleye does not make a pattern. That's true. It's start. You need two to two to start. <laughs> Throw them in the box. We're going the wrong way. You eat shrimp, right? <laughs> you get right at the boat too, huh? Dang. You smoked him though. Sauger. Yeah. yeah. That is really cool. I love Sauger. Yeah, I don't see very many of them. Yeah, a lot of coloration. Cool little fish. Be cool if he was seven pounds. Yeah. Seven pound, I'd be. It'd be a record. Yeah, Would it be a record? Yeah. Yeah. What, what is the record? Seven something? Uh, Red Wing. I think every kid at Red Wing has it. It's like seven something. Or is it like 614? Yeah, it's nice. Regardless, it's a nice fish. That would be absurd. It would be like an eight pound bullhead equivalent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd still use it for bait. Absolutely. Can you imagine that? Dude, I know Brad. He owns some ground on the... Ooh. Crappy. It's Carl. Here's the other thing we're looking for. That's not a bad Carl. I'm just going to put the camera on you. That's crappy. Yes. This Are we going to flyhead fish later? Yeah. Probably should have saved him. <laughs> okay. Add him to the bucket later. Crap it. There he is. Not too shabby, bud. another nice Mississippi crappie. So that's what a fish looks like. Dude, that is a nice crappie. Yeah. Healthy. Real healthy, good ecosystem. Lots of forage. 
So these are not accidents. These are crap -o. Mississippi crap -o's. So what's it like to be an expert? Feels pretty good. Okay, good. Feels pretty good. You're no longer AAA. You're in the MLB now. <laughs> Got called up. Got called up. Me, I'm like lower A ball and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Name a small town. <laughs> lower A ball and Winchesterville. Winchesterville. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice. You know who is too proud? Me. Right. Yep, there he is. Oh. Very crappy. Nice one. You know who is too proud? Me. Nice. Well, that's a good one. There's a 13 in. Dude, they are chunky. They're beautiful, ain't they? I like the gold on that one, too. Yeah, they're, I mean, you, that's probably he's up in the grass. Yeah. The grass line. I'm sure he came out of the grass and bet he ate it. Hold him nice, up, proud. They get that really nice green color too. He would look yeah, he really proud. good with a 10 knot hook right in his back. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no 10 knot hook. No. You know who else thinks Walt? Crappies are delicious other than humans. <laughs> Flatheads. Flatheads. Mr. Brownie? Yep. Big nasty. Not too shabby, bud. There we go. I can appreciate that one. one. We'll get a picture of him. If not careful, we might end up on Facebook again. <laughs> you got the right shirt on. There we go. You gotta smile like you're happy you caught the damn thing. <laughs> so much concentration from yeah. Brady in the background, too. <laughs> Laser focused. I didn't put any uh, weight on him because I was trying to turn my camera on. Oh, it's Larry. Damn it, Larry. <laughs> oh, I, I get my money's worth on the hook sets. I channeled my inner Kevin Van Dam. Nice. That's what we're talking about. He inhaled the hell out of Yeah, he did. Is it coming out of his butthole? It might be. I was a little tardy on the hook set. <laughs> oh wow. Ready to flick it off that <laughs> Ooh. That is Oh he's bleeding. Is he? Yeah. It's like in his esophagus. I brought a flay knife. And dispenser, if you're cool or hold ice and I'm like it should. Yeah, I'll throw him in there. Flay fish and I got it. You get it? Yep. Thanks so. Yeah, I have some bait? Here, I know what to do with him. <laughs> what are you going to do with him? We're just going to put him in captivity. They're going to your aquarium? Yeah, temporary aquarium. <laughs> You're building a pond too, huh? Yep. Everybody on YouTube is building a pond. That is true. <laughs> Their fish pond. Right. More bait? Another crappie. Uh -huh. More bait. I think he was hungry. Yeah, he might end up going in the Kukula. He definitely was hungry. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's down in this. Yeah, I don't even. It's so far down, I don't even know if you can. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Holy crap, man. <laughs> mayflies. Mayfly. How does one go about catching mayflies for bait? Oh, man. I feel like it'd be a delicate, tedious process. <laughs> Right. I found that if you go out to the muddiest area that you can find and insert little mixing straws, 200 to 250 preferably, and then the larvae will climb up the straw, and then you can take them home and process them. But you only get them for a day, though, a day, and then yeah, they die. Yeah. <laughs> and then you 
can't do it in California because they use biodegradable straws. <laughs> right. It'll break down in deep water. Oh, man. It's a process. It's a, I mean, obviously, it, it pays out. How bad do you want to catch fish? And that's part of what makes you guys legends. Legends aren't born, they're made. Talk to me. Tell me something good. It's not small. Oh, nice. Oh, we can chase it, can't we? I am. Yeah. Forgot about that. Technology. Oh. <laughs> barn door. That's a big one. Yeah. I haven't seen a barn door like that in a while. At least not out of the water. That's a pretty bad. He's wanting to poop real bad. He wants to poop. Don't squeeze his belly. Hey, hey, hey hold him up for a picture. I'm going to try to hang him off the boat. No, you're good. It's a boat. With the sombrero. <laughs> that is great. There we go. There's your sheep. The sheep. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen a sheep that big. I, that, that fight got me all excited, though. I will say that. Walk us through the situation. Oh, it's What's going on here? Another drum. Can you tag it? You sound so excited about it. I'm gonna see what it is for sure. It's not a walleye. Yeah, Yep, big sheep. That's bigger than mine. Yeah. Now that's a sheep to be proud of. They're like made for If you were ever gonna be proud of a sheep, that'd be a sheep. Pretty good sized sheep. Yeah. No sheep. Yes. So what's it feel like to be an expert sheephead sheep fisherman? <laughs> Do you offer guided trips? Yeah, for sheephead. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call me a sheep slayer the first time I'm fishing. Hey, you get called a lot worse things. Yeah. We could open its head up and take the, the pearl or whatever pearl. whatever it's called out of there. I'm gonna put the bug on. I wanna get in some sheep action. Last cast warning, and then we are going to better water. Why our guide took us to the worst water to begin with, I don't know. But I'm not here to question his motives and objectives. He's a veteran. I'm just a young Padawan. One, one more cast.